Hello everybody, just uh, wanted to share with you something revolutionary that a student of mine showed me the other day on Torchmate, and that is curving text. And a lot of us have tried to make signs in the past, and we either do it, uh, put the text in manually or some other method. We all have our different methods, but today he's going to show you something on the Torchmate CAD that I think is going to be very, very helpful for you. So, Chris? Hey guys, I'm Chris. So today I'm going to show you guys how to curve text. It's a little bit different from what I've heard that everybody else does. So what you're going to do is you're going to start off by typing something. I'm just going to type welding today. And then from there you're going to click off. You're not going to transfer it to graphic or... So you have to keep it text. Yeah, you have to keep it text. You want to go over to transform, fit text to arc, and you'll have this circle that comes up. And to change the arc, you're going to grab one of these nubs. And you're going to pull it down to do less of an arc. And then to make it more of an arc, you're going to pull up. Can you, can you grab any nub, the top or bottom? Each one's, yeah, you can go up with one or down with the same one. So if you go down, it makes the radius larger. If you go up, it makes it sm um, smaller. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So if you accidentally click off of it, you can click right back on it, go straight back to transform, fit text to arc, and then go back to fixing it. So then this one, the middle one's just going to be to move it around. So that way if you have a pre-existing sign or something like that, you can yeah. just move it to that sign, check it out. Yeah, you can move it right into there. And up here you also have these options to be able to change where it is on the circle to change the orientation of the arc. So let's say I wanted to have it on the bottom, but I wanted the text to go a different direction. Um, click on it. Let's say, uh, so let's say you go transform, fit text to arc. What does that um, invert do up there? Yeah. That's going to just flip it upside down. So you have it going all the way around, pretty much upside down in one singular direction. So if you do it this way, uh, let's say uh, you do it on the top like this, you just rotate this around. Let's. Um, you have around like that so on the top it would be perfect so if you pulled it around like this and you're going oh my goodness it's backward we can just hit the inverse button and it automatically does it for us exactly. or you could probably just hit that bottom button say on the top and then hit the bottom button and it automatically inverts for us so those are two ways um, so that's pretty amazing I know that I'm going to use that quite a bit what, what do you think I didn't know that it was a you know, sought out idea. I just found it out because I was curious what that option did and it never came up with anything else I was doing. Now, I, I have seen that there under transform a, a time or two, but I've always uh, draw my text and then I convert it to graphic and you can't use that when you convert it to graphic. So that, uh, I know, I know that this is going to be awesome in the future. So thank you so much. Appreciate it. You guys have fun and I hope that, uh, comes to you. I hope that you use